Stephanie Patrick, Editor-in-Chief of The Current, and I am thrilled to welcome a longtime agency leader in the health space. Allison McConnell is CMO of Publicis Health Media. Thanks so much for joining. Oh, my pleasure. So I want to talk to you about innovation. Yes. And there's so much innovation happening in the greater advertising industry, but I think also in the health space. What is the innovation coming down the pike that you think is going to be most transformative for us? Where it can right yeah. now um, in the south of France, which is lovely, um, but wherever you are in this festival, it's all about AI. And it's hard not, I didn't want to talk about AI because I, there's so much innovation going on, but it you cannot walk anywhere in this place, in this conference, without seeing it, without talking about it, um, and really digging into it deeply. I mean, it's obviously going to have a major impact on our industry in good and bad ways, and in ways that we have to be mindful of. And it's really about, when you talk about generative AI, it's about the data that goes in really determines the risk level mm -hmm. that you or clients are willing to take with it. So if the data is not great, the risk is too great and it gets blocked. So we really need to have a conversation, particularly in health, about that data and, and the quality of that data that's then determining what's generated on the other side. I'm curious to get your thoughts on what's challenging the industry right now. I mean, there, there are many things, right? I think we're all problem solvers, but what uh, in your mind is the biggest challenge advertising is facing? Um, and maybe, you know, the solution or the opportunity on the other side of that. We have about 4.2 billion people going to the polls across 65 countries. In terms of media, we've, we've got a lot of messaging out there. And, and the question to me is, how is that messaging going to be used? How is media and advertising going to be used in a good way, in a bad way? And the information and misinformation that's being pumped into the world across all of these countries that are going through, and many have already done it, of course, that are going through these election cycles. That really worries me as a, as a human being, really, but in this, in this industry, just watching how it's used um, is something that I think a lot about. Our team talks about big swings a lot, and it's yes. like that big, audacious, juicy goal or project you're working on, yeah. and I'm curious what that is for you right now. A couple of years ago, we partnered with an organization called Fuck Cancer. We tackled the issue of HPV vaccines. It's really surprising how many young people are not vaccinated, particularly young men sort of seen as a women's issue to deal with. And it causes almost all cervical cancer um, and 10 other types of cancer. We sought to put together this campaign to help raise awareness among young people that they need to get vaccinated. It's their responsibility. It's called HPV Fs Everybody, and we're on Grindr, and we're on um, a lot of websites that you wouldn't expect because we're trying to reach, our target is young people who are sexually active or who would like to be. Final question for you. Yeah. There's a game we play sometime in the office called Unpopular Opinion. <laughs> As like, what is your unpopular opinion or what is your hot take on media right now? I think we're talking too much about tech. I think we've lost humans. I don't know how unpopular that would be if you really start talking to people, particularly at a place where we're supposed to be talking about creative, but creative is not technology. You just don't want to lose sight that communication is about authenticity and it's about human emotion and it's about um, experience. And as advertisers, we can be most powerful and effective when we create experiences with people. And if we just think about tech and AI and predictive, mind, we're forgetting that the most important thing is how I connect with you and the, what you feel in that moment. So we can't lose sight of creativity and the power of creativity and authenticity as we 
balance the incredible power and potential of data and technology. To that end, I think the most radical act we could do is to replace the word consumers with people. Ah, <laughs> Just to it. remind ourselves, yes. right? We're yes. in the business of humans. We uh, are. Thank you so much for joining me today. It's been such a pleasure to get your thoughts and uh, I hope you come back. Thank you, my pleasure.